So you guys will know that if for some reason I have to run out, you'll know why, right? <laughs> uh, All right. That's what it's like when you're home. You can't escape. You can't escape, Marie. All right, marching in place. So we've got a nice little warm up. Quick, it's gonna be quick because we're gonna get down to business and get this party started. What I was saying tonight for our virtual body back session, we have a combination, go to little heel toe rocks, of body back rounds and 360. So some extra cardio intervals today. We have five total uh, intervals. The last one is all core work. And then we might have time for a little bit of extra of that too. Stretch you guys out. I've kind of heard that uh, we need a little bit of flow. So I might try to do after our little core set, um, do a little bit of flow stretching, which still works your core, um, but gets you guys nice and loose if things are starting to feel a little tight. And let's switch legs. Beautiful. One other announcement, we have a new um, Body Ignite class that is starting. It's Wednesday mornings, 9.30, and Saturdays at 8 a.m. I know that might not be perfect for you, but it actually might, because they are all strength-based, toes out, knees out. So you could rent or purchase a bar, or you could use light weights. It's a nice, long, uh, weighted bar. So it's for strength. There's no cardio. So you are able to do a Wednesday morning strength and this class, I promise. I did it this morning. I even taught at 6 a.m. You guys can do it. All right, hold it down. And that's basically just, again, uh, to tone and define. I'll probably start teaching that soon as well. Those are free classes to you guys, all free classes. The only thing that costs money is if you want to either A, rent a bar, or buy a bar and they will hand deliver it to you so you could get it ASAP. Take a big deep breath, inhale up, exhale, swoop the ground, stretching the hamstrings, inhale, reach all the way up. One more major announcement I wanted to mention. Next weekend, hands to heart center, hold it right here, good little rotation, side to side to kind of work out the spine. Next weekend is my birthday and I'm going to Big Bear. I have awful service in Big Bear. What you guys are going to do, you're gonna jump on either the 7 a.m. body back class or the 8 a.m. body night class or both next Saturday. I will make sure to post the links for those so you'll still get your workout in. And then I'm gonna do a makeup class for you that Monday night. So I think it's Monday the 8th, June 8th. I'll post about it, but I just wanted to make sure to tell you guys, walk it in, give me a little boxer shuffle. Right here, shaking that body out. We're gonna go into some jumpy jacks. Jacks right here. I'm gonna grab my timer. You have 30 seconds of jumping jacks. This is not your first interval. This is not your interval yet. Keep doing your jacks, I'll be right here. Keep going with your jacks for 10, 9, 8, 7, last 5, 4, 3, 2, take it back to a boxer shuffle. Boxer shuffle right here. All right, I'm going to explain what we're doing. This is your first out and back. These exercises are going to stay the same every time we do an out and back. First one is lunge jumps. Woo! Second one, jump rope. Third one, skaters. Fourth one is a ski. I will cue you. Just know you are going hard for two straight minutes. No breaks. You guys ready? Let's go into our lunge jumps right here. So you're here and you're switching those legs. Lunge, plyo, explode. Option, if you need to do quick step back lunges, as a low impact option, you could be here. But if you can, try to jump it out. 15 seconds. Breathe. Breathe. 
You get a little break for those legs in five, four, three, two, jump rope. Jump rope right here. So your option for jump rope, you can go out, out, in, in. You could stay with doubles. You could do heel taps. Either one. Jump rope. Let's get that heart rate up. Oh, I forgot to start my watch. Keep going. Keep going. You forgot to start yours. Make sure your workout counts. Three, two, one, skaters. Right into it. No stopping. Right into your skaters. Hop. Reach across your body. You want more of a challenge? Get lower. Get down to the ground. Try to touch the ground. Stay with me. Wider hops. Get nice and low. 10 seconds. You've got one more. One more exercise. In five, four, three, two. Take those feet right here, front to back. Run your arms, front to back. Last 30 seconds. Go as quick as you could go. Work those arms, you wanna keep them straight? You wanna run them? They all work. Keep the body moving. Remember, you're trying to get that heart rate up because we're gonna slow it down here for the next four minutes. So make this count. Give me five seconds. Four, three, two, and one. Good, shake it out. Grab your band. First exercise. Take it, fold it in half. You're gonna do a reverse lunge. Reverse lunge. Squat, reverse lunge. Squat, here we go, arms up. Reverse lunge, pull it in and squat. Reverse lunge, other side. Pull it in and squat. You are low the whole time. Squat, reverse lunge, squat, lunge, down, lunge, down. Tap that knee if you can. Reverse lunge and a squat, beautiful. Woo! I want those legs on fire. Down and in. Reach. Pull it in. Reach. Pull it in. Reach. Pull. Give me 20 seconds. Get down a little few inches for the squat. I know you're low the whole time, but try to still get a little lower for the squat. Woo! 10 seconds. Reach. Squat. Reach, squat, finish it out. Three, two, one. Drop your band. Four point plank. Shoulder, shoulder, ankle tap, ankle tap. So, Marie, any variation of a plank you want to do on your forearms, you can. Here we go. You're going to go shoulder, shoulder, reach, downward dog, opposite ankle or shin. Opposite ankle, drop down to the plank. Shoulder, shoulder, let's go, get started. Ankle, drop the hips. Ankle, drop the hips. Keep repeating. Four, three, two, and one. Four point plank. Four, three, two, and one. Keep it up. Four, Three, keep those hips stable. Two, and one, keep going. Four, three, two, one, again. See if you could see me better here. Four, three, two, drop the hips. One, one more time, you're almost there. Finish this last set out for five, four, three, Two, one. Stand up and grab your band. We're gonna repeat that one more time. And then two minutes of cardio. Reverse lunge, squat, ready? Here we go. Lunge back, squat. Lunge back, 
squat. You get another chance with those planks. Squat. Lunge, touch the knee. Squat. Get down all the way if you can. Little squat. Drop it a little lower. Breathe. Pull. Halfway there. Ooh, legs should be on fire. You want them burning the whole time. Pull. Reach. Squat. Squat. 15 seconds. Ten seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Drop that band. Shake it out down to that plank. Shoulder, shoulder, ankle, ankle. Here we go. Three, two, one. Let's go. Shoulder, shoulder, downward dog. Touch the ankle, drop the hips, touch the ankle. If you're on carpet, it might be slippery. Use your floor to stabilize you, especially in the touchdown. <sighs> Keep going. Nice control, definitely not about speed. As you tuck into that pike, try to feel your abs. Keep it up. Shoulder, shoulder, tuck it. And tuck, keep going. Shoulder, shoulder, tuck. And tuck, keep going. 20 seconds right here. 20 seconds. Let's finish it out for 10 seconds. See how many more touches you could get. Last four, three, two, one. Guys, sweaty. All right, guess what's next? We're moving on to a new round. Two minutes of cardio, starting with those lunges. In three, two, one. Let's go. Jump lunge. It's only 30 seconds. Give me everything you have. Running, exploding. If you need to, you're here for 10 seconds. Nice, fast lunges. Staying low. Try to run if you can for five, four, three, two, one. Jump rope. Out. You can do doubles. You can stay right here. Just make sure you're turning that rope. Turn it to work those shoulders. Good. I see Andrea out there in the sunshine. Out and in. Stay with it. Five, four, three, two, one. Right here. Step and reach. Step and reach across. Nice and low. You're bent over, right? You're reaching across your body. 30 seconds. Stay with me. Push yourself, push your partner if they're working out with you. 15 seconds. Breathe. We've got one more coming up in 10 seconds. In five, four, three, two, last one. Ski those feet and those arms. They can be long or you can run. Bending the elbows. Just front to back with those feet. Legs only have a teeny bend. Right here. Let's push it. Woo! Almost there. Finish strong. Five, four, three, two, one. Quick breather, new set. This is where that push-up's coming in. We're gonna do a push-up 
to a side plank, push up, side plank. So it's gonna look like this. You're down on the ground, push up, stack the hips, pause. Push up, stack the hips. Ready? Let's go. So Marie, go ahead and get started, guys. If you wanna use your fists and go up to the side plank, if that's okay, you can. Right? Any option that feels good for your upper body. You can even stand up and do chest presses with your band. <sighs> Down and up. So a push up. Pause in that side plank for about two seconds. Push up. Pause. Try to get those hips to stack. So you're working your core a little bit extra. I'm just gonna check your form. You've got 20 seconds. 20 seconds, beautiful. Knees to modify, good. 15 seconds. Try to stay on those toes. Remember, the goal is that upper body. Eight, seven, how many more can you get in? Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Stand it up, core time. All right, lay on your back. Lay on your back. We're gonna take those feet. We're gonna touch the ceiling. Touch the ceiling. Hands can be right underneath the hips or behind the head to make it harder. Touch the ceiling right here. Breathe. Push. We're gonna stay here for just a minute. When you're ready, if you would like, you're gonna take it up, in, out. Up, in, out, knees always come back in. Up, in, push towards the ground. Lift, and add that extra push. Lift, as low as you can kick those legs towards the ground. Stay strong, getting the lower abs. Lift, push, lift, push, lift. Working our way right through this second set. Second round, almost there. Give me presses up to the ceiling. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. We've got our push ups to our side plank. You could stay down on the ground if you would like. Marie, if you want to use your band and do chest presses, you could stand up and do that too. Here we go, three, two, one. Push up, side plank, last time. Push up, side plank. Push up, rotate, breathe. Stack it up. Try to get that heart rate up a little bit more. Push up. Stack it, breathe, hold, core is tight. Keep your core super tight. <sighs> 15 seconds. Eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, one. Lay on your back. Let's do those little foot presses again. Here we go. Lay on your back. Start right here. Hands behind the head or under the hips. Touch the ceiling. Touch. Touch. Breathe. Elbows wide. A few more here. Four, three, you could stay here if that feels better or you're gonna come in, out, in, lift. In, out, in, push. Keep it up. Out and in, lift up to the ceiling. Breathe, you've got 25 seconds. Stay with it. All the way out, all the way in, lift. Give me all lifts to the 
ceiling for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. All right, stand it up. Guess what that means? We're moving on to round three. So we've got cardio. Two minutes to push yourself. Starting with those plyo lunges. Shake it out. Time starts in three, two, one. Let's go. Plyo lunges. 30 seconds. Take those feet wide. Get low. Power up. Powerful. 20 seconds. Halfway. Five, four, three, two, jump rope. Woo! This feels like a break after those little jumps. Turn that rope. You could do singles. Whatever's going to get your heart rate up more. Turn that rope a little bit extra. Eight seconds. Moving to skaters in three, two, one. Right here. Wide hops. Reach it low. Get that body alive. You're in your house. I can't be there to hover you. I need you to push yourself. I need you to mentally be strong every workout, every minute. You showed up for a reason. Don't you give up on yourself. Stay with it. Eight seconds. One more set. In three, two, ski it. Fast. Last 30 seconds. This is when you want to work on speed. Simple movement, fast feet, faster. Front to back, front to back, let's go. 10 seconds, five, four, three, two, one. High five, way to push yourself you guys. All right, next. Grab your band. Curtsy lunge to a plie to a curtsy. Let's demo together. Grab your band. You're going to add a lat pull down if you want. Wrap it around. Remember the lat pull down is here, here, here to chest. In front of you, to the chest. That's what your arms are doing, okay? Start in a plie. Make sure you've got room to curtsy lunge around you. Plie down to the chest. Bring the band up. Curtsy. Down. Plie. Down. Curtsy. Down. You got it? Ready? Keep moving, keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. Giving you a couple extra seconds to practice. Time starts in five, four, three, two, one. So you're meant to be actively recovering. You're slightly breathless, right? You're catching your breath, but man, you're starting to feel those shoulders burning, feel that lower body because you're doing a double movement. Breathe. Nice plie. Curtsy, plie, curtsy, 30 seconds. Beautiful, you guys, I see you. I see you with me. Keep moving. Woo, 20 seconds. Try not to let those arms drop. Ten seconds. I'm gonna burn your shoulders out this round. Be prepared. Four, 
three, two, one. Ow. You're gonna be in a plank. Everybody can do this one. Forearms. Still see my beast team? You're gonna tap your legs out. Three, two, one. Drag it in. Let's go. Alternating legs. Here we go. We're gonna tap. Three, two, one. Drag it in. Knees to modify. Three, two, one. Drag it in. Butts down. Three, two, one. Drag it in. I'm gonna use my hands because my arms are too sweaty. Three, two, one. Drag it in. You can use your hands if you want. Three, two, one. Drag it in. Modify it here. Three, two. Try not to modify if you still feel good. Drag it in. This is just in case you're dying. Two, one. Or your planks are getting stronger, I should say. You started on your toes, which is better than what you did before, right? Keep going. Three, two, one. Drag and pull. Three, two, one. Drag. Last one. Three, two, one. Pull it in. Woo! All right, grab that band again. Where is my sweat rag? Here we go. Band up. Start in that plie. Now I'm gonna go that way because I ended on the other side last time. Plie, curtsy, woo! Plie, challenging your core, curtsy. Now those taps, where did you feel those? When we were in those planks? Did you feel those in your obliques? Getting into your waistline, right? Yes, that's what you want. Keep those arms nice and strong. Plie always in the center, then you switch. Halfway there. My shoulders are on fire, guys. I hope yours are too. Pull. I don't know if I'll be able to teach my 6 a.m. class anymore. Woo! I'll be dead. Lots of demos, 10 seconds. Move at your own pace. Five, four, three, two, one. Ow. Down to the ground, plank with those taps one more time. Then cardio time. Here we go. I'm gonna use my hands, because like I said, my forearms are a little too sweaty. Here we go. Butt down. Three. Two, one, drag it in. Three, two, hold on one, pull and drag. Three, feel those obliques. They have to work hard. Butt and hips are down. If you feel yourself lifting too much, use those knees. You're still gonna feel the obliques. It's just not as hard as on the upper body. Three, two, one, 30 seconds. Three, two, one, drag and pull. Three, two, one, Ooh. Three, almost there, two, 20 seconds. Give me a couple more. Two, one, drag it in. Three, two, don't stop, one, pull it in. Last one, three, two, one, pull it in. Beautiful, stand up. Guys, you're knocking this out. We are on, out and back, round four. Here we go. You guys ready? Cardio time, lunge jumps. Lunge jumps right here. I was like, how did we go through that so quick? Keep going, keep going, but I guess it's 7.20. We've got two more rounds, three down, two to go. Let's go, let's go. 10 seconds. I had to check myself, I thought it was only 7.05. Nope, four, three, jump rope. 30 seconds. You guys are like, please don't add more. Please don't add more. 
stick with your list tonight. Whew. It's a good list. Round four, getting in a little bit more strength. Whew. Round five is cardio, but all abs. Five seconds. Three, two, skaters, here we go. You can move up, guys. You wanna mix it up, move up. What's up? Move back, if you've got room, or just stay where you are. You need a little action. You can move forward and back. 15 seconds. Let's go. Remember the goal. You should not be able to talk. Very breathless. Can't yell at your husbands. Can't yell at John because he's in your way. Can't yell at your kids. To leave you alone for a second. Three. Two, ski, finish it. Fast. Remember, speed. You're almost done with these 20 seconds. Can you give me a little bit more? Just a little bit more. A little quicker. Move those arms a little faster. Five, four, three, two, one, Woo. breathe, break, grab your band. All right, do some biceps. You could do weights if you would like. We're gonna work one leg at a time. You're gonna do a bicep curl. As you do, you have an option. Either shift the weight completely here and add a leg lift, or just hold it right here. So let's start with the biceps. Squeeze and curl. Elbows are pinned by your side. If you would like, you're adding a lift. Lift, cross it behind you. Lift out to the side, cross it back. So I'm not quite tapping next to my foot. I'm tapping behind to make my core work with my biceps. We'll pulse it at the very end. 30 seconds. So next round, we'll work the other leg. When we go through this one more time. Stay strong. Get ready to pulse the biceps, pulse the leg right here, out to the side. Halfway up and down. Make that side glute and thigh burn. Eight, seven, six, squeeze your glutes. Five, four, squeeze your biceps. Three, two, one. Woo, reverse crunch. Lay down. Here, hands behind the head. Reverse, easy tap. Lift, tap, chest to knees, tap. Let's go, lift, tap. Tap down, just a reverse crunch. Chest to knees, elbows are wide. Breathe. If you can, try not to touch the ground. Try to just hover as low as you can with the heels. Hover. Feel the difference. Crunch, hover the heels. Beautiful. Halfway. Mind to muscle connection. Try to get those lower abs. Right here, give me a few little pulses. Lifting the hips up, rocking off of the ground for five, four, three, back to singles. Down and up for a couple. And then we'll pulse one more time. Here we go, let's pulse it. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Stand it up. Other side, so other foot. Biceps one more time. Lateral leg lifts, chest and shoulders open. Here we go. Curl, tap back. Lateral leg lift. Feel the obliques working, but also be mindful of your biceps. Check your form. Are my elbows pinned by my side? Are my chest and shoulders open? Good, you guys look beautiful. 
Take your time. You still have about 30 seconds, 30 seconds. The last 15, we're gonna hold it and pulse it out. Stay with me. A few more singles, really try to get into those biceps. I want them on fire. I want you to feel those arms tomorrow and the legs. Here we go, hold it out, up and down, right here. Pulse the arms, pulse the legs, squeeze your glutes. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, a little more, three, two, one. All right, quick sip of water. Guys, we've got our last final fifth round and then core exercises. So two minutes, all out cardio. This is your last cardio. Make it count and then it's all downhill from here. All right, you guys good? Anybody else sweaty? I see Marie wiping her face, you're sweaty, that's good. Virginia is okay, good. Virginia didn't eat whatever she ate last time. Was that last time? Here we go, plyo. No, it was a couple of workouts ago, I think. You got it down now. Right here, fast, plyo lunges, explode. 20 seconds, last time doing these, my legs are dead. Woo! But we're gonna keep them moving. You're gonna push a little bit more for 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, jump rope right here. Jump rope. Let's go. Doubles or singles. Make sure you're turning that rope. Turn it. Hydrating yourself anytime you need it. 10 seconds. Push it. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's go right here. Skaters, you can move up and back like we did before. You can stay right where you're at. 30 seconds. One more minute of cardio. Nice wide hops. Can you get them a little wider? A little bigger. Maybe you're throwing it down. Wide. Let me see you. 10 seconds. Bigger. That's it. That's how you want to push. That's how you want to finish your workout. In five, four, Three, two, ski it. 30 seconds, this is it. Speed, bring it. Leave it all on the ground. Everything down here. Let your energy fill the room. Let's go, let's go, front to back. Faster, faster. Give me 10 seconds. Few extra steps. Five, four, three, two, one. High five me or your partner. High fives. All right, guys. You did it. You did it. How do you feel? Amazing. Okay, keep moving. Keep marching. Okay. We're going to take a picture while you're nice and sweaty before you lay down. Okay, ready? It's a boomerang, so you could jump. I'm gonna have you jump. Ready? Everybody's gonna jump when I say go. And if I could see your body, make it like a star jump. Yes, John, get in there. All right, ready? Big jump in three, two, go! Jump, 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 jump! Woo! We did it. That was perfect. All right. I, <laughs> that was great. Both the Johns were in it. All right, go ahead, let's take it. Starting to ease our way down, let's do some walking planks. So this is all core now, okay? So we're gonna come down to your mat. You're gonna start with your feet hip-width apart. Let me go this way. Touch the ground, walk it out till you're in a plank. Once you're in a plank, drop your hips, take your knees, one, two, walk it back and go forward again. Walk it out. Knees in. One, two, 
Walk it back, touch your toes. If that's uncomfortable, you could stay on your forearms and just do the knees in and out. Keep going, flowing forward and back or just staying on those forearms with the knees. We're starting to kind of loosen the body up. One, two, walking it back. So I want to give us a little plank challenge first. Then we're gonna roll over onto our backs. One, two. We've got about four more minutes of core work. Keep it up. Then I'm gonna flow. When you're ready, come down to your plank. Hold it. You could be forearms or hands. You're gonna sting the scorpion. Bend the knee. Tap it to the opposite side. Center, down, other leg. Bend the knee. Tap it as far over as you can. Center, down. Now, can you be on the knees? Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Whatever's gonna work that core. You need to feel a deep twist going on through your entire core. From the back, to those lower abs, to those side obliques. <sighs> Give me a couple more here. You've got 15 seconds. Push it. <sighs> 10 seconds, last five, four, three, two, one. Stretch it back. You're gonna turn to your side. We're gonna go into a little side plank, but I'm gonna use my bottom leg. We're just gonna bring the knee in, crunch elbow to hip, reach overhead, loosening up your side at the same time that we contract it. Here we go. 30 seconds, in and out. If you want to tap the foot on the ground, tap it on the ground. You want more of a challenge? Don't let it rest. Keep it up in the air. Reaching overhead, pulling in. Reach, pull, reach, pull. 10 seconds. Get in a few more. Five, four, three, two, one more all the way in. All the way out. Lay on your back before we get the other side. Knees up, bicycle crunches right here. We're gonna go three, two, pause. Three, two, pause, other side. So you should be alternating your holds. Three, two, pause. Three, two, pause, three, Two, hold, keep going. Three, two, hold, breathe. Hold, couple more. Three, two, hold, stay with me. Three, two, hold. Three, two, hold, last one. Three, two, hold it over, hold it. Take that leg up and down, up and down. Elbow is towards that knee. The straight leg is up and down for five, four, three, two, one. Do it again. Three, two, hold the other way. Up and down. Keep going. Elbow to knee. Five, four, three, two, one. Right here. Crunch up to the knees. Up to those knees. Just keeping the knees nice and still. Chest to the thighs, up for 10, nine, lift the shoulders, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Right here, reach up for those toes, up, lift, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Take it to the other side plank, make it even, and then a little bit more core work, sending us into our little flow cool down. Ready? Here we go. We're gonna go in, reach overhead, 30 seconds. In, reach, in, reach, pull it, extend it. Stay up in that side plank. Breathe and reach. 10 seconds. Last five, 
four, three, two, one. Turn onto your back. Almost there, I promise, almost there. Take your arms out to a T. Rotate your knees to one side. Extend the top leg. Center, extend the top leg. You should feel a core, like you're wringing it out. Just keeping your shoulders down. Bring the knees over, but don't rest. Kick. Don't rest the abs. Kick. Good. Couple more. Bringing out the core. Beautiful. It should feel good on your back too. When you're ready, take it over to this side. Hold it with this leg extended, hands behind the head. Lift up, straight up. I'm crunching up to the ceiling, but I'm lifting this leg up and down. Lift, push, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, bring it center, other side, extend it, crunch it, keep crunching, up to the ceiling, lift, leg is moving up and down, push, breathe, up for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, bring it center, take the knees in, one leg is gonna go up to the ceiling, your other leg is gonna hover the ground. So we're gonna pull one, two to the chest, then we're gonna switch legs. One, two. If that bothers your neck, let your head rest. These are your, the, you might have seen these in Pilates, they're called hundreds. Straight leg, or if you wanna bend the knee, you can, right? So if it feels better to go one, two, one, two, you could be there, but this also stretches your hamstrings. One. Two, one, two. <sighs> Working the abs, but also loosening the body. Double duo for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bring the knees in. Give yourself a little rock side to side. Take your head, look left to right. If you want, you can kind of rock your body back and forth a couple times, making sure that back is nice and loose. And when you're ready, we're gonna slowly stand it all the way up. Do a teeny bit more flow here. So you're gonna inhale with your feet hip width apart. Exhale down to a forward fold. Head is down, inhale, flat back, look up. Exhale, release, head down. Hands touch the ground, step or jump back to a plank. Slowly lower your body, chaturanga, elbows tight. Inhale, release those feet up into cobra. Stretch the abdominals. If the neck's tight, stretch that too. Curl the toes under, downward dog. Walk the feet in, pedal the feet. Right leg, left leg. Alternating your lifts. You could stay here. If you wanna join me, you're gonna lift your right leg. Sting the scorpion, heel to glute. Take the leg forward into pigeon. Release onto it, release your back foot. Ah, that's for the legs. Stretch those glutes. Slowly curl that toe, lift it up, stay there as long as you would like. Push back to downward dog. Take this leg up one more time. Pedal those feet. Same thing, but on the other leg. Lift it up. Sting like a scorpion if you want to stretch that quad. Bring it forward into pigeon. Release onto it. Allowing your breath to start to slow that heart rate down. 
You could sink down into this if you would like a little deeper. When you're ready, rotate on to both legs. So now you're on your sit bones. Your legs are in that little seesaw. Take your hands up, twist over the knee, looking over your shoulder. Inhale up, twist over the other way. Inhale up, release the hands behind you. Bring your feet slightly forward. You're gonna take those legs and just rotate them side to side to feel that through your hips. You want to increase your intensity a little bit, you're gonna drop them to one side, don't worry, we'll twist over this way too. Lift up, press the hips up. Bring it down when you're ready, you can go slower. Take it the other way. Lift, reach. Take it over this way. Before you do a back bend, let's do one more little twist. Inhale, twist over this front leg. Inhale, center, twist over the other way. Inhale one more time. Let's do a back bend on this side. One more each way. Back bend, reach back to the back of the room. Hold it. Let your head go. Bring it down. Take it the other way. And press up. Slowly bring those feet in front of you. Press yourself forward. Forward fold, head down. Try to grab underneath the feet if you can, grabbing at the toes, or maybe you're reaching behind the legs wherever you're at. Try to step on those hands if you can. You could even pull your body up to feel the vertebrae open a little deeper. And when you're ready, slowly rag all those arms all the way up, giving yourself some shoulder rolls back. We did it guys, big deep breath in, let it go, one more time, let it go. All right, we're going to go into meditation. Any last little things your body needs, hopefully that flow felt good. You could dim the lights, you could lay down, you could be seated. Big deep cleansing breaths guys. Give yourself a nice big hug once you're laying down. Just give yourself a little love, a little hug. Rock it side to side. You did it. Take those knees into the chest. Rock those side to side. I hope you're proud of yourself. As proud of yourself as I am of you. We're going to allow your breath to just start to relax you. Big deep cleansing breaths in the nose, out the mouth. Feel the warmth of the breath on the back of your throat. Feel the energy and the vibes running through you. This meditation is a meditation to understand how to meditate. So if you've been putting a lot of pressure on yourself or feeling like you can't just quite quiet your mind, we're gonna make it nice and simple, achievable, doable. And it first starts with just a nice little stretch and a big deep breath, allowing yourself to get comfortable. Lying on your back with your hands by your side, Allow your palms to face up as a gesture to being open to receiving this gift. Take a deep, beautiful breath in the nose. As you do, take a few moments to observe your thoughts. Exhale it out. Continue to breathe naturally. Allow yourself to flow. If you feel your thoughts wandering, just bring it right back to your breath. 
feeling your belly rise and fall. The purpose of meditation is not to have zero thoughts. It's actually not possible to do that. Meditation is a way to care for your mind, just like you cared for your body. We're giving the mind a chance to rest. With practice, we can attain a very special state that goes beyond the physical body. Allow yourself to be present. Allow yourself to be free. Allow yourself to be still. We're giving the mind a chance to rest. In meditation, the mind is clear. It's relaxed. It's focused. But it is a practice. And just like any practice, we should not expect to get it right away. We keep coming back to it, back to this place, without judgment. Most meditations use an anchor, a focus on a sound or a word. Today, let's focus on the sounds of waves. Imagine yourself on a peaceful beach. Feel your body relax. Breathe in, breathe out. Feel the sun on your skin warming your body like a tingling feeling going from your face, down your shoulders, your arms, through your legs and thighs. Smell the salt of the ocean air. Breathe a beautiful breath in, listen. Listen to the sounds that surround you. How long can you hear the waves go out? Listen to the sound of the waves crashing on the beach. Observing the sound that comes between the waves. As your mind starts to wander, just gently bring it right back. Let the wandering mind serve as a gentle reminder to come back to your anchor, the sounds that surround you, the sound of the waves, feeling peaceful, feeling relaxed. Keep this feeling with you for the rest of the night, allowing yourself to be free, allowing yourself to be present, Allowing yourself to be grateful for your body, for your ability to be here, for your choice of self-care. This is for your mind. This is for your soul. Connecting all elements tonight. Give yourself another deep, relaxing breath, taking in the sounds of the waves, imagining yourself lying on the beach. You can almost do it soon. Slowly start to call yourself back into the room to maybe the real sounds around you, maybe the pitter patters of little feet of people, maybe to birds, nature, being grateful for all those things too. When you're ready, slowly start to call yourself back, coming to a seated position. You can stay lying down if you would like. We'll take a few final breaths together, awakening, energizing, beautiful breaths, inhaling all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Another big, deep cleansing breath. As you exhale, imagine any leftover tension or worry leaving the body so you can have a peaceful, restful sleep tonight. One more big, deep breath. You came, you saw, you conquered. I am grateful for each of you. May the light in me shine and honor in each of you. 
And remember the final most important stretch is always that beautiful smile.